Good day, Mrs. H here, and welcome to Eagle Weekly News. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, and liberty and justice for all. Juro en el estado de Medio de Texas, Texas un estado bajo Dios, un indivisible. Thanks again, boys. We have quite a lineup for you guys this week, so without further ado, here's Mrs. Garcia with the weekly update. Good morning, as far as the Eagles. I hope everyone had a beautiful weekend with their family and maybe just had some time to relax and enjoy uh, from all the hard work that you've been doing in your distance learning. We have uh, just a couple of announcements today. Report cards were uploaded on Friday and they are in HAC, which is the Home Access Center. That's where you're able to view your grades on a daily basis. There is a link there for you so that you're able to see how you did while we were in school right before the school break, boys and girls. So make sure you go on there and if you have any questions about that, your teacher has a step-by-step -step guide on how to locate it. Make sure that you're also continuing to do uh, your distance learning in your Google Classroom. And then if you have friends that have not been able to log on, if you have their phone number, make sure that you reach out to them and say, hey, you know what? Our students and our teacher misses you, so make sure that you log on so that we're all in this together. We'll be ready to, to go for the next school year. This week we are celebrating our secretaries and we especially want to send a huge shout out to Miss Elizabeth, Miss Josie, and Miss Yvette in the front office. They keep our school running so make sure that you send them a nice uh, thank you note, maybe on Twitter that they're able to see your great faces and letting them know how much you appreciate them because we cannot do our work without them. They're very special. And then one last announcement is for our parents. If you have not registered your child for the next school year, please make sure that you do that. And if you need any help or support with that, you're able to reach our main line number at 210-397-1850. Boys and girls continue to do great work in your Google Classrooms. I'm able to see how you're connecting with your teacher on a daily basis. So please make sure you keep up with that. And if you need any help, continue to reach out and we'll be there for you. Have a beautiful week. Mr. Hernandez, back to you. Thank you, Mrs. Garcia, and a huge shout out to our amazing secretaries. If you want to brighten their day, make sure you've registered for the upcoming school year. And now, an important message from our rotation specialists. Hello, my Esparza scholars. I want to remind you to exercise your brain and be active learners. Think about the great and innovative ways that we are learning through distance learning. Use this pandemic situation as a learning experience to gather facts and family moments to store them into your digital journals, which will become a lifetime piece of you. I am always thinking of you, and I love you a bunch. Hi, boys and girls. Remember to stay creative. Get a piece of paper, a pencil, or crayons, and find an area where you can create some artwork. You can make a self-portrait or do a portrait of someone in your family, or you can set up some objects and try to make a still life. Just remember, have fun, and Take time to make art. Hey, everybody. I miss you. Uh, I hope you are staying active. Make sure you uh, take a break from your studies. Make sure you uh, include your parents and your brothers and sisters. And make sure you are doing some of those exercises that we do in the gym. Uh, if you don't have access to any of that equipment, there is equipment around the house that you can, that you can use. Uh, if anything, just go walk around outside. Uh, and please make sure you include your siblings and your parents again. Stay safe. Hello. So good to see you. Actually, I can't see you, but I have seen some of you in some of the lessons that we've been doing lately, those Flipgrid lessons that we sent out this last week. Now, I'm, I'm excited about the videos that I've gotten in. And one thing that I really liked was the fourth and fifth grade lesson that we sent that was interview a musician in your family. That meant to interview somebody brother, sister, parent, someone in your family, and ask them some questions about music. And so I thought I would ask some of the camps teachers uh, some of the questions. So, Ms. Hernandez, have you ever played an instrument? And if so, do you still play it? No, I've never really played an instrument. I only played it like just for a, a class that I had to, but if you ask me right now, I, I really don't know how to play an instrument. Okay, Ms. Dilly. 
Are you a good singer? Oh, I wish I was. I love to sing and dance, but uh, I'm, I'm a better dancer than I am a singer. Coach Wilder, what is your least favorite genre of music? The least favorite genre of music would probably be uh, metal rock. All right. That's the wrong answer, but all right. <laughs> and Miss Becca, what's the last song you listened to? Uh, it's probably not school appropriate, so I uh, can just think of Bruno Mars. <laughs> okay. Mr. V, if you can meet any musician, dead or alive, who would it be? Mm, Kurt Cobain. Ah, cool. And boys and girls, if you don't know who that is, Google it. Um, that's part of the interview questions that some of you are going to be doing on your videos because I'm expanding the lesson to the whole school. I'm going to go ahead and make that Flipgrid lesson available to everyone this coming week. And I'm anxious to see the videos. Remember that you can always comment on each other's videos and, I, and uh, you know, you can compliment someone on if they've done a really good video or you can ask them questions. Uh, with that, I'd like to take, leave it to Mr. V. Hey guys, Mr. V here. I hope you and your family are doing well. During these times, it's important to practice good tech habits. Remember to follow the 20-20-20 rule when using your technology during distant learning. Every 20 minutes, take a break and look at something 20 feet away for 20 seconds. This is a good time to move around and give your eyes a break. This is a great time to drink some water as well. Hey guys, just want to let you guys know, hope you guys are being safe, drinking water, washing your hands, and just like Coach Wilder said, to try to stay active. Hope to see you guys soon. We hope to see you soon, guys. Bye. Yes. We miss you. Miss you. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for joining us. It's always a pleasure seeing all of your faces. Students, we want to encourage you to log into your Imagine Learning accounts at home. Here's Mrs. Krina with the Top Class Weekly Update. Hello, Esparza Eagles. This is Ms. Krina missing you more than you know and sending you a big virtual hug. Ms. Lizarraga and I wanted to take a few minutes to give a big shout out to the following classes who have been logging in to Imagine Learning and doing all their activities. In third place, we have Miss Aguilar. In second place, we have Miss Perez. And in first place, we have Miss the Luna's class. Congratulations, guys. Keep up the great work. If you would like, for your class to be part of the leaderboard, don't forget to log in to Imagine Learning and do all of your minutes. See you next time. Congratulations to Ms. De Luna, Ms. Perez, and Ms. Aguilar's classes. Way to work hard, Eagles. Earth Day is every day and anywhere you are. On April 22nd, Earth Day goes digital. What do you see? You see trees, you see leaves, you see everything around us. We have the beautiful Earth. In 1970, we had our first Earth Day. Earth Day was created because we as Americans were not being very resourceful with everything that we had. We were, we were destroying our Earth faster than we could ever possibly know. So we decided we needed to do something better for ourselves. We needed to do something for you. We needed to create things that would be great. We needed to keep our Earth better. By the end of 1970, we had created Clean Air Acts. We had made people aware of how we were destroying our Earth. Today, billions of people on April 22nd will celebrate Earth Day. Earth Day is a day for us to realize that our Earth is precious. Just like everything around us is precious. Our life is precious. The days that we have are precious. But our Earth gives us life. It gives us things to breathe. It gives us who we are. So remember, Earth Day, do something for the Earth. Take care of her. Watch out for her. Be her friend. So be conscious of what you do. Be careful with what we do. Watch out for the Earth. And my friends, have fun on Earth Day. Log in to earthday.org 
or simply do something kind for the planet. Of course, we'd love to see you in action. Post your pictures on Twitter using the hashtag Eagle News. Hey, everybody. I've got a good lesson for you today, and it's something that you can make at home, and it's so easy to make. This is what you need. You need a plate, and you can use a ruler or a paint stick and some tape, and you're going to make your own paddle or a racket because what you're going to do now is you're going to get a balloon. You're just going to get one of these balloons, and what you want to do is you want to see how many times you can hit the balloon and keep it in the air. You can change hands, one hand, the other hand, change hands. You can keep doing that. You can even try to hit it and turn around and hit it again. You can even play with your brother or your sister or your mom and dad. I hope you like this lesson. I want to see some pictures of you exercising so that I could put you into my next video. All right? I miss you and I love you. We hope you have an exciting week of digital learning. Please know that we miss you very much and we love to see you guys participate in our Google Classrooms and on Twitter. Until next week, this has been your Eagle Weekly News.